Some of the region's best athletes in wheelchair basketball are celebrating a successful weekend tournament. The competition for the trophy was fierce, and a local D.C. team made it to the finals. Our Brittany Morehouse sat down with the players on that team, the NRH Ambassadors, and she put together a collection of stories in their own words. My story, well, I was in a car accident in March 2009. I had a spinal cord injury. I was injured when I was about 15 years old, where I fell from a high height, broke my back, and damaged my spinal cord. December 4, 1989, I got shot. I was born with polio. Being a spinal cord injured patient does not mean you just lose your legs. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That thank you. you actually lose, you know, some, some of your urinary function, some of your bowel function. That's when certain negative thoughts occur, but you know, you get over those humps with family and friends. The number one thing for me when I was young was I was scared of being a grown man in a wheelchair. The basketball team is what made me want to do more with myself. When I met guys who had cars and homes and wives and kids, did I change my mind and say, okay, I can do it. It, it helps me stay in shape. It helps me develop my teamwork skills. It's nothing like a good pass. When that person is open, you do a pick and roll. You know, you come up and you pick that man and he's wide open going to the basket and you just lay it off. It's high speed and uh, it's just a lot of communication out there on the court. Having a good time for me. This is our first home tournament of this year. We've gone to other tournaments in Philadelphia and in Delaware and there we made it close but we didn't go home with nothing better than a third place so just to make it here is kind of exciting. I hope we win this tournament. Yep, yeah, all the way. Good for them. NRH did win that tournament by more than 10 points. Final score, we're told, 60 to 49. Congratulations.